this gentleman has a lifetime history of motion intolerance that uh, is so pronounced that within 15 seconds he will become uh, nauseous if he tries to read in, in the car. Yes. He presented about six years ago with left ear symptoms, fullness, pressure, and fluctuating hearing loss. He was having episodes of vertigo. He seemed to have episodes uh, that we would recognize as Meniere's disease. But because of his lifetime history of motion intolerance, his strong history of light sensitivity and sinus headache, and his history of allergy, we uh, trialed migraine preventive medications for him. He tolerated propranolol and his symptoms disappeared. His ear quieted down. And I think even the fullness and pressure and tinnitus that you had in the ear. 98% gone. Yeah. So we almost, see, well, virtually almost 100% gone. I don't ever notice it now. After a couple of years, we were asking the very reasonable question, I wonder if we still need this medicine. So we dropped the dose from 120 to 60 milligrams. No problem. And then you stopped the 60 milligram, and what happened? Well, within eight hours, the symptoms started to return. Um, headache first, followed by fullness, followed by tinnitus, followed by vertigo but in 24 hours, um, and which time I said, okay, the heck with this, I need to put this medication back in. And I took the next day's pill after missing one day, and within two hours, the symptoms were gone again. So, and I've been back on it since. So your hearing is back at its baseline, and yep. now we know at least we're taking the medication for good reason. Yes, I think so. So that's pretty uh, compelling evidence for migraine mechanisms acting in the inner ear and, and presenting as classic Meniere's disease. Low frequency hearing loss, which we've documented with fluctuations, fullness, pressure, ringing, and episodes of vertigo. A lot of our uh, watchers will be very interested to hear this because many of them have not had success with their current treatments and this is something they haven't tried. Thank you very much. You're welcome.